welcome to video number 35 and today I feel like a, a bit of a rant. Um, I don't know how many of you guys saw Jenna Marbles' most recent video where she read some of her meanest comments but I was so shocked at the overwhelming number of people who disagreed so strongly with the way that she put makeup on her face as well as the way she dressed. And I just wanted to address some of those things in this video. I really like wearing makeup to start off with. Um, I enjoy it. It's almost a hobby of mine. Um, I enjoy shopping for makeup, I enjoy buying it, and I enjoy experimenting and putting it on. And there's nothing like feeling like you've done your makeup really, really well and you can go out and just feel super great about yourself all day. So today I'm going to go through some of the most common arguments that people have against wearing makeup and I'm going to tell you why they are complete bogus. Let's go! So some people seem to think that when you wear makeup you turn into some kind of mystical unicorn or something because they say that you are fake. Now I'm not sure what this means, like at which point in my makeup process do I become a unicorn? I'd really like to know. Because as far as I know, no matter how much makeup you put on your face, you're still a person. You're still the same person inside the same body with just a couple of extra stuffs on your face. And fairly related, another argument that people have is that you're being dishonest about what your face really looks like. To which I say, are you confused about the concept of object permanence because obviously this is not what my face looks like. When I take this off, I look ever so slightly different, sometimes a lot different. Why is that such a bad thing? So basically, it's not me deceiving you into thinking that I'm more beautiful than I am. It's you being stupid and naive in thinking that I actually look this way. Now one of my favourite arguments against makeup is that people who wear makeup are enemies of feminism. Why? Because you wear makeup to attract the attention of men. My first argument to this is, so what if I am? I'm not going to apologise for wanting to be attractive to people or wanting to be attractive to men. There is nothing wrong with wanting to be seen as beautiful by the people around you. But for a strong woman, this attention is not going to be the source of her confidence, it's going to be a perk of her confidence. So, because I am confident, people see me as beautiful. Not, because people see me as beautiful, I am confident. Secondly, if anyone here is an enemy of feminism, it's you. Because one of the main ideas of feminism is to allow men and women to express themselves however they want to without being judged. And you're not helping feminism by hating on your fellow women. That's the sort of stuff we're trying to overcome in society today. Women are supposed to be looking after each other. Women are supposed to be appreciating each other, not trying to put each other down because they're different. Thirdly, assuming but not conceding that wearing makeup for the attention of men is the wrong reason to wear makeup, here is one that might be a little more compelling to you. A lot of women use makeup as an aid to their confidence. So it's not to any extent impossible to feel confident without wearing makeup, but it does make it a lot easier to feel confident when you feel that you look your problematic trend I see is people who wear minimal makeup or people who say that they don't need makeup um, thinking that they're better than girls who prefer to wear makeup. They see themselves as more beautiful because they're showcasing their natural beauty. And to this I say different people make different decisions in their lives, okay? You live your life and I'll live mine. There are different kinds of beauty and different people find different things beautiful. So don't ever think that your beauty, while yes you are beautiful, all women are beautiful, full face or bare face, don't ever think that your beauty is superior to other people's beauty. It's just different types of beauty. Also, it seems to me that a lot of these people are trying to make some kind of point. Um, and I just think that people should feel beautiful for themselves. People shouldn't feel beautiful based on what other people are going to think of their beauty. Also, who is to say what makeup is minimal and what makeup isn't? Like right now, I'm wearing makeup 
which I would consider to be very minimal. I'm wearing a very light layer of foundation, um, some concealer under my eyes. I'm not even wearing powder, although I should be. I'm wearing like the laziest coat of eyeshadow, just one color and some mascara. So to me, that's very minimal. Other people would say that minimal is just eyeliner and mascara. Other people would say it's just concealer and powder. Other people would say it's like a full face of makeup but just lighter colors, like daytime makeup. So don't ever think that your standard of what minimal means and what natural means is everybody's standard. And also don't think that minimal and natural is the only way to look beautiful. Um, so in conclusion, I think makeup is really cool. I think it's really fun and I think it's a great way to boost your confidence. So it's okay not to wear makeup and it's perfectly okay to wear makeup and don't ever let anyone tell you different. It's not okay to ever judge someone for the way they dress or the way that they wear makeup or at the very least it's never ever okay to treat them differently or to treat them badly, to badmouth them, to talk badly about them or just generally to be bitchy about them. Um, never ever okay. Don't ever do that. Please tell me your thoughts on this in the comments down below. I am always very interested to hear. If you did like this video then please give it a thumbs up. If you like me and want to see more from my channel then you can hit the subscribe button. Um, some life updates. I went to camp, made lots of friends, if any of you are watching, hello! Um, I fell into a deep dark hole of Larry Silence and Proof blogs, which was just a terrible idea. I watched all four seasons of American Horror Story, uh, and a season of America's Next Top Model, and a season of Adventure Time. And also, did you know that Jeremy Shader, the voice of Finn the Human from Adventure Time, is in a super cool band called Make Out Monday? Um, and you should all look into it. <laughs> I go back to school on Mon Wednesday. Yes. Sorry. Good luck with your lives, people. Uh, thanks for watching. I love you. Bye! I have relatives from Canada and they sent me some sweets. And um, I'm going to try them now. <laughs> so these are maple syrup treats.